morning everyone and welcome to our Disneyland Paris vlogs. If you're new around here, hi, my name's Brogan. I'm Benji and it's 5 a.m. on Friday the 7th of June. And we're off to Disneyland Paris. We're gonna bring you along for three days, three vlogs. We're staying at the Disneyland Hotel, which has recently been refurbished. We're very excited about it. We're gonna bring you along and show you what it looks like, what the rooms are like and the restaurants and everything in between. This morning we are at London St. Pancras to get the Eurostar and some of you may know that it's not direct anymore which is a bit of a shame but we are going to show you what it's like to get there now so this morning we're actually going via Brussels it's quite fun it's a bit interesting it's isn't the second it? time I've been to Belgium I've never been so that's interesting but we are actually going to be changing at Lille on Sunday we're going to bring you along and show you everything we get up to so thank you so much for watching let's go take the Eurostar to Disney let's do it Wow, it's really quiet, Benj. Last time we were here, this was full, wasn't it? Wow. We've allocated an hour before coming. They recommend 60 to 90 minutes before. I will say, I always forget how lovely it is to go on the Eurostar. It's so smooth. It's very easy to go through. You don't have to think about too much. It's not too big and overwhelming. So if you haven't done it before, it is quite easy to navigate. We're here at the departures, so. Let's go through security, I'll see you on the other side. To get through the security, so that's our suitcases being scanned, like a normal airport, mm -hmm. and passport control, where they go through two stations, took us less than 10 minutes. Literally, right, literally 10 minutes. <laughs> Crazy. That is so quick. That's the fastest we've gone through. Very quiet. We've never gone at this time in the morning. We normally leave around 10, 11, I think. Mm. Oh memory. Got about another hour in bed. <laughs> We've loved a bit more time. It's going to be a long day, so I think there's pros and cons. Pros is definitely that it's a lot quieter. Yeah. Cons, it's going to be a really long day and we're quite I quiet. I didn't even think in my head about packing that it's going to get scanned. Yeah. I was on my head, I was like, oh, I'm just going on the train. Like, it's fine. Yeah. That's the same as when we get to London. But you don't have to take anything out your bags. No. Which is quite good, because yeah. we have laptops and things, so. Yeah, perfect. So now we need to decide if we want any breakfast. I don't like eating too early, so I'm probably... You've got smoothies, yeah, haven't I've got smoothies, I've got a couple of snacks in my bag, I've got some croissants. Also, two years ago yesterday, we were also here, also getting on the Eurostar, over to Disneyland Paris. We had no idea the exact date, so beginning of June is like a sweet spot for us. It's yeah. one of our favourite times of the year, isn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> and this is what it looks like, so there's loads of space to sit, although last time there were absolutely no seats, it was rammed. And then there's loads of boards that tell you which platform you are, and it's all very nicely signposted and stuff. They do have a little world duty free if you want to get anything. They have the station pantry where they sell like food to go, coffee, lots of like breakfast options, sandwiches, some hot things. Oh, sausage sandwich. They have a bar and then they also have some like pastries and muffins. I feel a bit nervous about this journey because we've not done it. You know when you don't know what to expect, I'm worried about the Would you say that change. we're into the unknown? <laughs> That's number one. I'll be, yeah, impressed if you can get a lesson to the school. <laughs> oh, is that a challenge? That's a challenge for you. Oh. See how it does. The exciting, Ooh, nice thing, bright, the, the exciting thing about this train, though, is that we're going to be under the sea. It's two for two. Two for two at half five. That is keen. Which side are we? Behind us. Okay. Whoa. We always like to take a picture. We've got our photo. We think we've got our photo. <laughs> and now we're gonna jump on. One of the like, first 10 people up here, now everyone else is gonna Everyone's on the, on the train. We're like one of the last, that's okay. Right, let's get on. We're going to Brussels, but it's actually going to Amsterdam. We're just changing. I don't know how we've managed this because I did not realize this was a table. So it's two hours to Brussels. Then we change and we've only got about 15 minutes and then it's an hour and a half to Disneyland Paris. So it's three and a half hours, basically. Success. We've got no one back in front of us. There's no 
loads of space to store our luggage, which we did. So we can take this. Okay. Off we trot. So they've recently updated the Disneyland Paris app and it's been so good. I really, really enjoyed it. So when you scroll down on this sort of home page, it brings it up this like checklist and you can see it says green, like a tip where I've done it. So you can book your restaurants, you can book, get your magic passes, which is your tickets, start your mobile check-in for the hotel. Disney Wall Encounter, you can reserve a time and day. That's to meet some characters in the hotel, which we'll show you. And then this one was to make a request for what room we wanted, which we could do a week before. And this is when we get there, we can click I'm here, and then we get a digital key, so we don't have to wait. Wow, so this is Brussels. This is looking very nice. I like how it's not too busy or too big sometimes like airports can feel so overwhelming but this is pretty straightforward so let's see where our change is so you're looking for this Manela Valet <laughs> I'm not sure if I pronounced that correct Manela Valet Chef. Either way, we are, what platform? Oh, 5A, there. We've come down one set of escalators, and this seems to be like a main hub, and we are over here, 5A. Pretty straightforward. It tells you which coach and which seat you are. There we go, number 36. This is a little bit smaller, this train, much older. Brogan said last night, I don't want any snacks. I went up to Tesco, I got like a little meal deal couple of drinks and crisps and a couple of croissants broken said this morning no don't want any don't like eating early so earlier I had my hula hoops I only had two or three yeah nibbles couple and then I've just whacked out my croissant no that, let's rephrase that I, I have just taken my croissant out of the back why does that sound so weird I just got my croissant <laughs> This is the only stop I believe and then we're on to Disneyland Paris. About 15 minutes. We have just got off, that was so easy. And a lot of you will recognize this station because we are here. We're gonna go up those escalators. Gary, this one's for you. It's my first sortie. Oh, and Ben's just blocked it, brilliant. It always looks a little chaotic, but you just literally walk along there and that's the exit. So. It's also just so grey as well, isn't it's it? It's not the prettiest train station in the world. That was so easy and I had a lot of messages saying, why did we choose Brussels and why didn't we just go to Paris and take the metro or why didn't we just change at Lille? And like I said, we are changing on Lille, at Lille on the way home, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss seeing that. But the real reason for doing it all via Eurostar was just because it was easiest for us. We can just put London to Disneyland Paris in, it brought up all the changes, showed me where we could go and Brussels was the quickest and the earliest. So that's why we did it like that. But it was very, very simple, straightforward. I personally would rather do the two trains rather than try and get the Metro because we haven't navigated that before. So this was like a good next step for us. So that's everything train wise. I hope you've um, gained some understanding and seen the process. And now we're gonna walk straight over to the Disneyland Hotel. We don't even have to go round and through, do we? We just go straight. I didn't even consider that. We oh, had to put our amazing. cases through security, but we go straight through. Yeah, oh, game changer. Look at my ears sparkling all over the wall. <laughs> love that. Oh, I really love being in Disneyland Paris in the sunshine. This is so lovely. It's not a cloud in the sky. No, it's gorgeous. Absolutely glorious. We've got a lot of renovation going on all around here. Is Tower of Terror open? It doesn't matter. We're not going on it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look how nice this is. <laughs> you can't take extendable selfie sticks in the parks, but we always have one for photos we do when we went London and also just in front of the hotel and I'll link this below because it collapses so small you just press a button and it opens back up so it's so loud here. Look, how good is that? And then we stick the phone on it. Voila! But we're going to leave it in the room now aren't we? Yeah, not bad. 
allowed to take it. He's changed his t-shirt. No, no, no. You're in a Pizza Planet one. That looks so cute. Like this one. We got this on Amazon, actually. I'll leave this link too. Yeah, it's quite old, isn't it? Like yeah. Three years old, maybe? It's done you well. It is now half past 11, so we're making good progress. Planning on being in the hotel for about half an hour just to, like, have a look around. And I believe, because somebody asked me, that anyone can walk into the hotel now. You don't have to have a reservation or be a guest or any of that jazz. I think anyone can walk in. You can only book the restaurants and the, like, meet and greet experience if you're a guest i believe it's just the way it's pink with the green like it's so gorgeous these massive windows can't wait to go across this walkway later as well it's a lot bigger than i thought as well i didn't know all of this stuff was here yeah i have no idea where his room's gonna be either because we could be in that side we could be over i'm assuming we'll be over that side where the car park and the gardens are oh wow it smells amazing it's so regal and beautiful and feels very new. I don't even know where to look. Look at the so painting. Stunning. We've come upstairs because everything is on level two and look at this view. I mean, this is just spectacular. So beautiful and princess-like. Look at the carpet and the wood and all the light, light details around all the bookshelves. So pretty. Oh, this is so nice. Have they all got Disney titles or are they just, oh, they're, no, they're random. What do they do? Finding him, Adam Hatton. <laughs> No way. I know we have pressing things to do, but if you were having a really relaxed day, you could just come and sit up here and look out. This is so nice. The lighting is gorgeous here. I don't know if we're going to be this side, to be honest with you. I don't even know where we're going to be. No, I have no idea where we're going to But if we are, we'll take a picture here in the morning. Look at this. It's lovely. Oh, we're going to go through the walkway. Oh, wow. So we're walking over to where the West Wing is. It's the pool and spa, which we're going to show you tomorrow. The shop. He's found a big chair. And what else is down here? Castle Club, bar, and the restaurants. <laughs> down the corridor are loads of art pieces and ornaments. Oh my goodness, we're gonna go in the shop. Oh wow, a Givenchy collection. Well, I never. Oh wow, I could spend hours looking at this. Oh, I would love more Disney art in our house. That one's nice. Do you know what? 120 pounds. I don't think that's too bad for that. Oh, even less then, right? Yeah, it's 118 pounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I deserve the crown. It's a tiara. <laughs> We wanted to show you the Royal Collection Boutique and they have some exclusive merch in here. So we just thought we'd have a little look. Oh wow, so this is the exclusive range. So they have some fragrances, some candles, some cups, bags, t-shirts. Very interesting. Oh, I like that already. No, that's, that's coming home with me. <laughs> that's beautiful oh this is just the most precious beautiful range you know what it is it's very me like subtle disney i love that and the matching pen i love this scarf as well you can put it on your um handbag strap or something like that and it's really cute yeah that is cute we can wear it as a tie do we <laughs> do we want to buy things now though like should we come back later want to, yes what? i don't should know if we? they Probably not. not i don't know if they do any sort of like sending to your room this. service I don't know, ask. okay i need to try on that look at the mickey i'm sure there's a mini as well we're gonna meet this version of mickey when we go for lunch at the royal banquet on sunday so in vlog three hopefully we'll have pictures with him like that i love him actually in those sort of regal yeah, clothes. The colours are really cute. Really nice. I'm sure we'll be looking at a lot of this merch in the parks as well, but they have some really nice things. And what I love about Disneyland Paris is that I'm not restricted to weight because I'm obviously the one carrying it back on the Eurostar, so that's very handy. Oh, they pajamas. Oh wow, I love them. No, I love them. Hang on, extra small. Oh, I wonder if they have other sizes. I have not seen those ears before. They're um, Aurora Sleeping Beauty ones. It's quite a nice throw pillow. Yeah, that is, you know, that is really nice. I like that. This is a great time to come into the shop as well because it's so nice and quiet. It's hardly anyone in here because everyone's in the park. It's almost 12 o'clock. Oh, I like that. Dangerous 
It's very subtle. The first pins. Oh wow. Obviously we've gone straight in and got this one. Benji bought me my first pin as tradition. Tradition. It's so beautiful. Love. We won't show you every pin and everything we buy because hopefully we'll do a haul but obviously we'll see how much I end up getting but I do really like these. This range. I've not seen this ever before. That's so pretty. And then this one is a huge sort of jumbo pin. I can see that being very popular. But I just think that's a bit big. It'll pull our whole wall down. I feel like we struggled for pins last time, didn't we? There wasn't we that many. We did. We did. So we'll keep looking. Good start. And they have a gorgeous lanyard as well in the hotel. This next area down this corridor has got where the restaurants are. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. How nice is that? Oh, that is so... Oh, that... Honest, that is... I, I'm actually a bit speechless. <laughs> I didn't expect that because I'd seen so many pictures of the entrance, but I'd not seen. We're directly in line with the fountain now. So oh. This is the exact middle. So we're going to come to this bar tomorrow, I think. And then around this side, the Royal Banquet we're going to Sunday, and we're going here tonight. All the restaurants are in one area, like a full swoop. So we're doing all of these. Oh, Royal Banquet. The Royal Banquet's on Sunday. This one's tonight. Okay. Good, good. And the bar tomorrow. It's also all, all new news for me. So the end of this corridor is the pool, which we're going to show you tomorrow. We're going to take a bit of a chill afternoon and show you around the pool and spa. So if you want to check that out, make sure you subscribe. Yeah. So we booked this when the reservations opened up, which I think was at the end of last year. And I paid £1,800 for the two of us, which includes the hotel, the tickets and we have breakfast included as well because we don't love breakfast in the parks so the breakfast was an additional i think it was like 166 pounds or something obviously you're always going to pay a premium for being in here and that also includes sort of things like extra magic hours and the ability to eat in the restaurants and stuff you also looked about a month ago and the same date, same package, yeah. it was about a thousand pounds more. It was. So it's just all about all when you book it and as far advanced as you can book as possible, really. Yeah, and just keeping an eye on the prices and the times. Obviously it's June, it's summer. I know a lot of you are interested in cost of things, so there we go. To the park. This is very exciting. This weather is still so beautiful, blue sky. Look at this. Feel that film set, that the sky doesn't look real. It doesn't. Oh my goodness. Oh, Baba. <laughs> oh, I don't even have any plans for us. <laughs> oh, let's go to see the castle and take pictures there. And then you can pick a ride if you want. First ride of the day. Right. Rock and roll a roller coaster. <laughs> no. First of all, it doesn't exist anymore. Second of all, it's in the other park. Honestly. Also, our last Disney park was Hong Kong. We have some Hong Kong vlogs if you are interested in watching those. But obviously, that was my last reference point, so I'm just sort of seeing everything is a little different here and there. Ah! It's my favourite castle. It's the same colour as the hotel. Oh, it's so, so gorgeous. Nah, it never gets old. <laughs> never gets old. <laughs> Why does it make me so emotional every time? Only this one though, you know, and maybe Magic Kingdom. <laughs> I'm right? so happy to be here. Good, me too. Oh, I don't even care what we do, you know, I'm just happy to be here. I'm so grateful. I can't tell if things have changed if I just no, don't remember I'm them. So it's because we did Hong Kong, so everything's slightly different. Done, I think we've done as full. Have we done Florida since? I can't remember. Have we? No. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. And Cali. Have we done Cali? Oh, we Cali said, last year, we? it's right. We've done California and Hong Kong since, yeah. so that's why. A nice little reminder that you can download Magi Park, which is my favourite app for looking at wait times. It's so much better than the actual Disneyland app. And you can see what's closed. You can favourite the ones that you like. I uh, haven't used this for a while. Hang on, let's go in there. There we go. So you can see favourites at different colours mean how busy it is. So hyperspace is only 25 minutes. We can do hyperspace as a first. Yeah. There we go. Right, you can see that. 
Yeah, it's not too bad. We have taken our castle photos. Took a lot longer than we thought because it is quite busy. It's also a weekend. We wouldn't normally come on a weekend because we're not fixed to school term times or weekends. We are much more flexible normally, but it's just the way the dates fell and the availability and the prices at the time when I booked. So don't love being here on a weekend, but it doesn't mean it's quite busy. So we may have to be using Premier Access where you can pay for individual rides or you can pay for a whole package. But I think we'll just do a couple of individual rides here and there. May do Big Thunder because it's currently about a 45 minute wait and our room is ready. It's one o'clock and it's ready. So we've had a text to say that, but we're probably not going to go for a couple of hours yet because I do want to see a new parade at two o'clock. But we haven't eaten anything. I barely ate. I only had a nibble of Benji's croissant this morning and we just walked past a crepe stand. So I'm going to pick a cup of crepe, do Big Thunder, stop somewhere proper for lunch and then carry on. The Disney crepes are an absolute win. I'm so happy we're having this as a first snack. They're seven euros with a drink or they're fairly cheap. It's only four euros just for a crepe with sugar. Love it. First crepe Voila. of the trip. Look at this. I'm so excited. How are you going to eat it? Mm. Is it good? Oh my gosh, Banj. <laughs> That's a top two snack. We caved first ride and we're doing premier access we wanted something we really love as our first ride and big thunder is one of my absolute favorite rides if not maybe top top tier for me this is where you like it the most isn't it in paris yeah, yeah. this is the longest it's the fastest and it's, it'll last for the back no, it's the wildest <laughs> yeah we'll get there we'll get there this was a 40 minute queue at 1.30 on a Friday and it was 26 euros for us both. So 13 euros each. Oh yes. <laughs> I do love Premier Access. <laughs> Especially when not a lot of people are using it. We're having a little bit of a technical glitch. They've told us to go the stairs. First ride's been a bit of a flop. Oh no. And we've run out of time to do anything else because we've got that show and we need to eat as well. It's not very often I see them completely escort everybody out of the queue. So, I don't know what's happened but it's definitely down. Because we already scanned in, they have given us these sort of temporary paper passes so we can come back and use it whenever we want, which is actually not the worst thing to happen. Okay, so we've decided to see the next show which is at 3.25. So instead we're gonna go and have some lunch. We're basically doing mobile order which Disneyland Paris has its own sort of version. So we're gonna go to this Mexico restaurant which is right opposite Big Thunder for some burritos, some chicken, a slush and some chips. We're gonna save all that and share it and we can get it in 10 minutes. So we're gonna check out here, which is so much quicker. We'll dine in than waiting in a queue. So this is the restaurant. It's Casa de Coco. So obviously it's Coco themed and it's got such beautiful um, bunting up. I love it. You can actually see the menu a bit better here. And if you're vegan, they have a vegan wrap as well. It tells you obviously like what's vegetarian with the little bees. Um, but they've got loads of things for kids too and they also have some yummy desserts and I should have got that, the frozen margarita. I bet that's really nice. Right, we've got our burrito, the chicken and chips and some sauces and the slushy. Oh, you just got a massive bit of avo. <laughs> It's a chicken one, right? Yeah. The top bit was mostly avocado, but the bottom is where all the meat and the rice is. And it's actually very nice. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Mm. Um, and the little chicken bites were good too. I like them. Yeah. Really nice lunch. Nice lunch. Mm. I really enjoyed that. It really filled me up. It tasted really nice. Mm -hmm. good, 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 good. It would have been nice with a margarita, but... I didn't know that we could get with, those. With a 4 a.m. start, maybe margarita isn't the best idea right now. We wanted to see a show at 2 o'clock, but we are pushing now to see it for the 3.30. So we have about an hour-ish to go and do something else. Oh, sorry, look at her ice cream. Look at her ice cream, it's got churros in it. Hold on. It's churros in like a little cone with some ice cream. Oh my god. I don't think I've seen pick and mix in a gift shop before. Gift shop, you know what I mean. This is like a gift shop stroke sweet shop, but this is cool. Has We've never got, seen this. Have you got any red and blacks though? No. That's our main pick and mix, isn't it? Looks nice though. We love the home section. We're actually looking for a new cookie jar. I bought one here years ago and sadly it was broken. Our house sitter that looked after the house when we were away accidentally broke it so i need to get a new one. Oh, sorry but this little forky was on his own <laughs> why do i love him look it's a little key on the plate for me please look. 
Oh, tongs, Mickey hands tongs. I'm um, sorry, but I know I have a million key rings, but I love that. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Do you know what I like about it? It's soft. It's soft, yeah. I really like these tea towels. This is so granny to say, but look, I'm in my 30s now, guys, but they've got a nice material. This is quite a hard, it says 100% cotton, but it's quite hard. And this is a little bit nicer to dry up your dishes. <laughs> I've peaked. I don't know where I'd put it, but I absolutely love this. <laughs> oh, isn't that it's almost like a bookend, isn't it? A bookshelf. Yeah, I could go on a bookshelf. I'm it is really cute. It's your favourite ride, isn't it? Um, we still, again, say this every time we go, like we need to get a rucksack that we can put the patches on. It's a bit expensive. Does it start with a three? £150. Oh, okay. So what's that, £120? It's a thinker. I think that's what it is, it's a thinker. If by Sunday you still like, oh yeah, I can't stop thinking about it, then we come back and get it. Okay, they've got some really nice big Thunder merch. This jacket, denim jacket, is amazing. Spirit jersey, yes. The ears are really cute. And this top here, I like this. Although Ben's just said it looks like Splash Mountain. With the train going for it. Yeah, interesting. Oh, doesn't fit you. Looks cute though. You know, whenever we go into like a Christmas shop and they always have like the, the Christmas trains going around. Yeah. And I say just pre warning when I'm like 50, I'm going to have a train room. Yeah. Is this like an entry system into it? It's, yeah, I mean, I, I think say, it's for children. I would say five year old me would love this, but I'm not going to like 29 year old me also <laughs> loves the idea of it. <laughs> It is cute, like a wooden track. Yeah, yeah, it's cute. We were nearly out the door and then we saw the shinies. So many pins. So the pin selection is actually quite good in this little corner. We've got a really nice 2024 one up oh. there. Yeah, we, this is what this was the range we bought from Hong Kong, but it says Hong wow. Kong Disney on it. And they have this lovely, it's a small world range. Like, look at that. So nice. This is lovely, this big. Disneyland Paris one but again it's just a little big you know that's nice because that actually says Disneyland Paris it's on it it's basically a smaller version of this really isn't yeah, it yeah but that's got Donald yeah, on that. it that's really Add nice the collection. we've done quite well actually haven't we we've got a little haul now I know most uh, vloggers would have done at least five or six rides by now but we've just had the time of our life in that little shop it's the Thunder Mountain shop the Thunder Mesa Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, Thunder, Thunder Mesa. Mesa. Right by Thunder Mountain. That was brilliant. Yeah, home stuff, clothes, pins, pin trading. Brilliant. Great. It was Fantastic. absolutely brilliant. Was yeah. That pick a mix shop as well. That was the pick a mix shop. Oh, it all flowed through. What shop? What shop? <laughs> this is quite a niche thing to say as well, but right by the entrance of Adventureland, where we were just for Thunder Mountain, they have this sort of like quiet nook around this corner, and people are taking a little break in the shade, but also the bathrooms are nice here. <laughs> Just in case you're interested, we always stop in these ones. It is such a treat to be here and so nice that we get to walk back to our hotel right at the front of the entrance. I love being here on a gorgeous sunny day. I can just see the top of the castle here while I wait for Benj. I don't know if you're going to be able to see Hang on. There we go. You can see the castle through there through the trees and it feels like we're in a completely different place. When you're off of Main Street and all the crowds, it's so nice to take a moment. You can hear the birds and the water. There's like a little um, waterfall thing going on there. Stunning. It feels like we're not in Disney anymore, it's lovely. It is really nice. Um, I was just saying, in the toilets, um, there's a sign by the tap scent, you can fill your bottles up from the tap, which is really cool. Yes. So you don't have to try and find a water fountain, which to be fair, there are a few, quite a few water fountains around. Do you remember when we had an issue, sorry, you got a little bug there. Do you remember when we had an issue with the taps being frozen in the winter? Yeah. And we couldn't fill the bottles up anywhere. Yeah. In the summer, it seems to be fine, but also like you say, the bathrooms, it seems to be like you can fill up there. Yeah. It's so quiet around here. Really nice bathrooms as well. Yeah, they are nice. I just yeah. said that they're some favourites of ours. Yeah. I think we should take a picture here. This would give me flashbacks when we tried to film that 3, 2, 1 reel. We did, we were filming oh, a reel. Yeah, it took us ages. <laughs> it did. But this is a really great spot for pictures because you get all the green and it's lovely. If I was a duck, this is definitely where I'd be. I mean, look at him, he's just chilling in the sun. He's not bothered by the crowds or the people. Listen to the music. So you've actually got a Disney version of West Side Story here. You've got the three ducks and then these three pigeons two there and there's one down there as well have encroached on their territory and waiting for them to start clicking and singing 
I'll keep you updated. Team Pigeons just got back up, a fourth guy's come in, and I think that I think they're calling it a day. Look they are, look. Oh. Na 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 I was actually joking, but it, they're actually kind of beefing now. Oh, Ducky's got the bit of bread. I don't think it's bread, I think it's wrapper. Yeah, as Ducky mates told him it's plastic. And that was Duck Watch with me. Well, Brogan takes photos. You're welcome. So it is feeling a little busy, but it's not horrendous. I've seen it worse. We've come over to do Hyperspace Mountain and we love this one because it's the Star Wars one with the comfortable restraints, the shoulder restraints. It goes up through here, it's so good. This is the first ride I did on my trip with my mum when I was 18 or, yeah, my 18th birthday, who remembers those vlogs? The parade we want to see starts in 15 minutes. And we'd normally recommend that you get a spot 15 minutes before. <laughs> but we want to squeeze in a ride, we haven't done one yet. We've got to do one, and I think this is, I know, obviously Big Thunder would have been the preference, but it's a good adrenaline one, you know? Yeah. So, if you ever wondered what the inside of Space Mountain looks like... <laughs> we are not having the best luck today, are we? I can't believe it, I've never been here with the lights on before. How crazy is that? Mm. What is going on today? We're going to miss our show now at this rate. <laughs> and we only have one slot that we have time for. We're meant to see it too. We already pushed it an hour and a half. It is quite cool seeing the track. You don't realise like, how yeah. twisty it is and stuff. We've been evacuated. And we're missing the parade. <laughs> this is not a parade. I keep calling it a parade. It's one of those sort of cavalcade, dancing, similar to the 30th anniversary one, which we love, the Ready for the Ride. Oh, uh, best one ever. Best one, but apparently this is also a bop, and it's called A Million Splashes of Colour, or something, like from memory. Um, it looks like it has maybe just finished, or is finishing. We're gonna try and show you anyway. We'll be able to hear the song too. Oh no, it's just coming past, I think. Let's see. Oh, I love it when the fountains go off as well. All the characters are up on the stage, so as we've said before, you'll want a spot right in there. Oh, look, there's Moana! Guys, you're just gonna have to watch the next vlog to see when we manage to see it again. <laughs> this is what happens sometimes. We're gonna leave. It's too much. And every mile will be worth my while. was on a roll. I'm sorry, but this soundtrack is a bop, isn't it? It's the unknown. The Ready for the Ride is like an original piece of music. Where it's this is, no, this has got an original song in it as well. We missed it. One of our favorite little hacks is when you want to leave and there's a parade on and come down the arcades, down the sides. Much quieter, cooler, easier. And these are actually really pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Piglet and Rabbit are meeting out here. Very cute. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy that we don't have to walk far. Yeah. Well, we either way, no matter where we are in the park, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go the distance. You've been waiting for that, haven't you? I do not, I was setting myself up for it, and then when you started filming, I was like, I'm gonna do it, and then you just set me up perfectly. Unbelievable, telepathic. It's actually a very subtle entrance here, like it's just off to the left. You can't really tell it's the hotel, but it is. Okay, we are in the east wing, 1334. We're gonna use my phone. Door unlocked. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Hang on, let's try again. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love digital keys. I would rather a physical one, but there we go. Okay, right, here's the room. Okay, so obviously the bathroom is on the left. We'll go in there in a minute. On the right is a wardrobe nook. Look at the little detailing of the roses. Ooh, there's slippers and robes and nice lighting, hangers. I like that a lot. This is the main bedroom area. Looks very nice. So we've got a Snow White themed room. It is a bit of a corner, but apparently they told us that king size beds are all on corners. We've got a little desk area, got a seating area here, 
coffee machine in there and I'll show you. This is actually a pull out bed for kids, but we obviously don't need that. TV built in there is very sleek, like that. A nice mirror on the edge there and a little area we can put our shoes on in the morning. This is a fridge. I don't know what these are, little nuts maybe? Yeah, nuts, very nice. This is so beautiful. Look at the detailing on the mirror there. Absolutely gorgeous, definitely fit for a princess. <laughs> a space so I can do my makeup and my hair. And then, like I said, this has got the coffee machine in there. Ooh, look at that, that's so sleek. Is that whole chocolate? Oh, it is as well. I'm definitely gonna try that. And look at all this, the little sugar cubes. In plastic though, not a fan of that. These are just empty drawers to put your stuff in. Nice big bed, little side tables. There are plugs too, which we like. And I don't know what all these mean. <laughs> They're all different lights. Oh. And I've got my USBs as well, so I don't need to use a plug. Oh yeah, okay, that's all right and for you. Oh, little reading lights, that's nice. Yeah. I really like it. And then we've got a little balcony, which is neat. So let me show you outside. Oh, you can hear the music. So we're at the very front side. So this is our view. It's That's... like having Walt Disney World today on, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice fresh air, isn't it? Fresh air, and I'd love a photo of me standing there. That's really nice, isn't it? Some good trees. Good trees, love the music. Really lovely. I like this a lot. We were originally allocated a room in the west wing which is the other side where the pool is we were literally three rooms away from being the actual what furthest room. room away top floor last three room. rooms away so and we just said to them we appreciate that these are all kind of smaller corner rooms but is there any that are a little closer. bit closer we did request it on the sheet is yeah there any requests and we requested it and we just requested closer close to the lifts because otherwise you have to walk so far and we did that in newport bay and we didn't say anything oh, we regretted it, it. Takes so long and i think if you spend a lot of money there's no harm in asking so we said we just we appreciate there's nothing available we're you know we've got a gorgeous room but if you do have anything closer to the main reception that'd be great the worst they can say is no yeah it goes to show when you're polite and you're reasonable then things can things can work for yeah you. it's exactly the same room actually the first room we went to look at was it was aladdin i'll show you a little bit it's just literally it's literally just two photos different yeah basically oh wow it's like a whole new world in here <laughs> I think we would love to stay in one of the suites, or no, not the suites, but like the Castle Club, that's it, the Castle Club. Like we do at Sequoia Lodge, we do a Golden Forest room. I don't know what their like equivalents are here. This is a superior room, so this is the lower room, <laughs> cheaper no, no, room. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why it's called superior, it's not superior it's so than anything else. No, yeah. but it is gorgeous, really nice, very it's fresh. Like, it smells nice as well, doesn't it? Very new, yeah. Also, yeah, I don't, we don't want to pull it out, but no, it is a, it's a bed. Well, I was wrong. Everything in that fridge is complimentary. That's cute. So we've got, I think that's sparkling water. Nectar, poire. Apple. Oh, pear. Pom. Oh, no, pom, pear. pear. And then there's some water at the back there. Two and another, waters. yeah, two waters. And these are little snack jars of like nuts and stuff. And let's take a look at the bathroom. Oh, wow, separate toilet. Oh, day. wow. This is a bit nice. His and hers. Very nice. Is it Seven Dwarfs mirror? Yeah, it is. Look. Oh. oh, now I wish we saw what, was the, what the other mirror was. I didn't look. Obviously, probably a, like a lamp, a genie lamp. Look at that. You guys know I'm obviously having this. I am obsessed. Is that not the most beautiful little bottle we've ever seen? Ocean's bottle. The shower looks nice too. Yeah, nice rainfall, rainfall shower. Yeah. What are the what are the um, towels like? Ah, uh, they're fairly fluffy. They're okay. Little mid-afternoon shower and relax. Ah, oh, lovely guys, so lovely. Ben's just having his shower. It's been a really long day and it's really quite warm, which is perfect. It's like the nice temperature where it's not too hot, not too cold, but it's so nice having the balcony. You can hear the music, I've just shut it because we were having a shower, but when I'm dressed, I'm gonna put my pajamas on and then just relax because we don't have dinner until seven. I think it's only about five, half five right now. This bed. <laughs> We've got so much space. I'm not even on the edge. It's so comfy. Mm. It's like a cloud. This might be the nicest hotel bed we've ever had. I'm actually gonna have a nap. You are? I'm train lagged. Train lagged? <laughs>
It's an hour time difference, so... Jet lagged, <laughs> but you didn't get on a plane, so you're trains. calling it train lag. Yeah. Okay, night night. Night night. We had the best nap ever. It was so nice. I feel so refreshed now. Only about 15 minutes though, because someone knocked on our door. I still was and, happy with the 15 minutes, but I, yeah, they I did. Woke us, well. I woke us up. And said, how are I? We're not having loads of luck. Do you know when like loads of little things are just like not going to plan? Yeah. But we're not letting it... Um, we're having a fun time though. It's just... Yeah, we're not letting it dim our day, you know? We're still having a great day. We want to dress up a little bit nicer because tonight we're going to... Le Table de Lumière, I believe. I just thought La Celia. That's obviously I've it. It's just French it, No, it's the Lumière restaurant yes. here in the hotel. So Benji's got a nice green shirt on and trousers and shoes, boat shoes. And I've got sparkly Havianas, brown polka dot dress, and then my little coach bag. And you may spot my new little forky on my bag. <laughs> I just love him. Gold is, and we've taken loads of pictures and video in the room, and I just love it in here. I've had the window and door open all afternoon with the music playing. Yeah, it's, it's been really so nice. nice, really relaxing. Really glad we blocked out this time. I really recommend doing that if you have a long like day, early start, and then if you are trying to do fireworks on your first day. So Royal Banquet there, as we know, and around this corner is Le Table de Lumière. Oh wow, Ben, which the wall is glittering. Oh wow. It sparkles. Okay, <laughs> just casually at dinner. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that there were characters with this meal. So we have Cinderella, Aurora and Belle with their, I don't know what the princes' names are, if I'm honest. We're in the Eating the Beast room. This is definitely a special, special meal because it comes at a little bit of a cost. In fact, a very high cost. And you pick a starter, a main, and a dessert. So we'll show you everything we get. I'm going to look through the menu, and then we get to meet the characters as well. Isn't that wild? The Prince Charles just come down to sit at your table. Do you have to pay extra for that? Excuse me. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> You are like a Prince Charming. More like the Beast. More like the Beast. A <laughs> yeah. was over there behind you. Oh, it sounds like we're sat at like a school dinner table. Like, oh, a Rawls just walked in. Just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> Cinderella's just over there. And we, now we place our order, they'll eventually come round. We've pushed the boat out again, haven't we? And we've gone for a. French white wine. Uh, a Savion Blanc. Something sounds there. Obviously we are in Disneyland Paris, but it feels like we've like gone on a little date night. Yeah. It's really nice. We've got some bread and he's given us the butter. And it's a Disney butter. Dis Disney? That's all right. Yeah, you tell me. We swap sides by the way. Kiwi <laughs> couldn't tell from Chateau Sunset in 2022. Amazing, thank you so much. Who doesn't like butter in their own bread? Me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point in having a husband if you don't have them butter your own bread for you? We swap sides so that I can easily chat to the princesses so Benj can sit in that corner. Um, I get shy. <laughs> I don't to say though, sometimes it just flows out of me and I get really like confident. But I wasn't mentally prepared that there'd be princesses here. This is a, what do they call it? An amuse bouche. An amuse bouche. What would he say? Pumpkin? He didn't say amuse bouche. <laughs> amuse <laughs> Um, pumpkin, pear, pear, and lemon. Mmm, look at some of this food. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Wow. Yours looks so nice. Ooh. Oh, that's good degrees of runniness. I'm really is. jealous. I wish I'd ordered that now. I'm not gonna lie, that didn't look so appealing once they poured the soup bit in, but it tasted phenomenal. Really good. How was yours? Yeah, mine was really tasty. Yeah? Yeah, it was almost like dolphin wild potato, kind of like layered potato. Ooh, with the egg. Kind of thing with a really light scotch egg. Very nice. So we've had our starter and we're about to have our main, but we haven't been introduced or met any princesses just yet. And I don't know how I feel about them coming around when I'm eating. Do you know what I mean? They're not having any in my beef. Not sharing? No. I feel like we'll have to stop eating and just chat to them and take a picture, I guess, but... Thank you. You're welcome. Aww. Thank you. Cream, and the flowers. So pretty. Thank you. 
lovely. Look at that. That is the most beautiful piece of presentation I think I've ever had. Well, we didn't have time to film it, but we just met Belle and I want to say Adam. Derek, how do you? I think it's Adam, also known as Human Beast. Um, <laughs> That really tickled you, didn't it? Human <laughs> beast. Um, it was in the middle of the name, but that's okay. This is our dessert. It's a cake with vanilla and pear. Did he say? It's a white chocolate. White ganache. chocolate. Oh wow! Look at this. Let's have a look inside. Oh, look at that. So we just met Cinderella and Prince Charming. That one went a little smoother than Belle and we Human eating. Beast. <laughs> Yeah, we weren't eating, which is a bonus. We finished our pudding. We'll talk about the food when we leave. Yeah. Um, but we have Aurora. Oh, and what's this? Yes, that was quite a <laughs> 100%. <laughs> it's, it's Prince Philip. No, I, I, you know, I said Philip earlier, didn't I? <laughs> we have finally met Aurora and Prince Philip as well and been given this nice little extra pudding. What do you see? The meringue, obviously, and then a chocolate cake thing. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> It's a real sugar rush, isn't no, it? That's a gamble. I think that's the guaranteed best one. Is that a good one? Have, should have the last. I don't know about this little leaf on top, if I'm being on honest. <laughs> it's a lettuce on it. Mm, I mean, that's good. Although you don't like the teller in it, it's a little hazelnutty, I think. It's actually been a really nice meal. <laughs> <laughs> the cast member asked if we wanted more pudding. No, it didn't. No, I said, you want some more? I'll bring you some more. No, 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 it's fine. I'll bring you some more. Yeah, we've got some more. We've got some more little puddings. I actually like, don't mind the way around we had it, actually. Yeah? A, Creature of habit you are, just, aren't you? Alright, we've just paid the bill. We'll talk about our overall rating of the meal in a minute. But just look how lovely this is. This little pouch that the <laughs> bill came in. Oh, I'm easily pleased. We're just leaving with Aurora. Just casually. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. They finished. <laughs> and this is the other room in here. Oh, this is very bright in here, isn't it? You can see the castle. Wow, look at that for a view with the sun setting. And you can just see the castle there. I just thought I'd show you the hotel from up here. Look at this view. Oh, it's spectacular, guys. I love it. Look at all the floors from here. You can see how gorgeous it is. Oh, he's holding the lift for me. Thank you. Even the lift's a nice look. I appreciate all these little details. The castle on the mirror. I'm really happy here. <laughs> I could stay here for longer if I could. <laughs> I'm also a little giggly because I've had, no. yeah, I've had a little bit of wine. Glass and half a wine and it's just gone. Half a bottle? Half, half a, a bottle? bottle. <laughs> step in time. No, 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 step in time. Oh, I just love the carpet and oh. the wallpaper. You're not letting me go, <laughs> Dan, let, let like, it go. He's under like an American doing it, an English accent. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny, wasn't he? <laughs> Open a door. Open, right, I asked if I could have a physical card and he was like, honestly, just do it all in the app, it's fine. Well, it's not. Bye. Oh. That's cringe. That was a very nice meal. Mm. It was 300 euros. So I'm just going to premise this by saying, obviously it's on the very high end of Disneyland Paris dining. And it, is, it, it felt like a really nice date night. Do you remember when really we, did, nice. we did Le Cellier in, we've been Echo. to a couple of times now. Yeah. But it was like, that this level. is special, I'm going to enjoy it kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, it really It didn't was. feel like we were just sat down for dinner. It felt like this is an experience, which we don't do every time. No, so, we don't. And we probably won't do it for the next few times, so. No, we have put the Royal Banquet, but that's a buffet. Yeah. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss what that's like, because it's mm. really cool to be able to compare them and Tomorrow we are eating at Pim's Kitchen in Avengers Campus, which is one we've wanted to do for a while as well. Mm. So completely different choices. And obviously today we ate the Mexican and we also have breakfast in the hotel tomorrow. So it'll be really interesting to show you that. Also, always got to apply the Disney tax. Disney tax. We also had a bottle of wine to yeah. count that in. It was 120 euros each. And we had several courses, really good service, didn't feel rushed, very good quality. No, Everything was very tasty. All the all the waiters were so lovely as well. They were really friendly. I would say out of ten, nine and a half food. It's a solid nine and a half overall, yeah. I think. Anyway, we now are going to quickly get redressed and then we'll be heading into the parks to do the rides we tried to do today. Big Thunder and Hyperspace once we our food's gone down. Have we still not done a ride yet? 
We still have not done we a still, ride. We still have well, we did obviously we still, do. We still have not completed a ride. No. Also, I paid for priority access, so we have the ability to be basically right at the front, so we can film it for you. I don't think it's necessary if you don't want to. If you want to wait around and have a spot in the crowd, you can. My third outfit change, but in my defence, I want to be cool and comfortable. I don't want to have to put that denim skirt back on because it was just... You know when it's just all bunching up and it is just not vibey. So I've put on my emergency backup jumpsuit that I always pack with me because it's really good for traveling home because it feels like pajamas. I've got it on for tonight and I've got a zip up jacket that Ben just popped in his rucksack for me because once the sun sets, mm. I know I'm gonna want that. This is one of my biggest hacks for Disney. If you ever have kids or a wife, then you need to pack these little sweets. I get them from Lidl and they're three pounds. We call them our Spanish sweets. Because I used to get them for like getting 10 out of 10 or high marks in Spanish tests, so they're all just like my Spanish sweets. 10 out of 10? I always get 10 out of 10 on my Spanish tests. But so we've got some in a little bag, and then when we're waiting for also I've got some easy access ones. In his pocket. For when you're waiting for the fireworks to relay, and like you don't want a coffee, but you just need that little sugar fix. Little. Or when you're waiting in a queue and it's taking ages and you get bored. Good, thanks for the tip, babe. Coming into the park at 9 pm when the sun's setting. It's a vibe. Oh, it's not doing justice on camera, but it's just gorgeous. In my head, this in Hong Kong is where we got waffles. Yeah, I was thinking exactly just the same there. Thing. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. How we remember the last part yeah. we were in. Oh, we've eaten there before as well. Waltz. You can watch our old vlog series to see that. Waltz is another sort of fancy pants restaurant date night. We are doing Buzz Lightyear. It's old, but he loves it. Scrap that. Buzz looked way longer than 15 minutes and. It was outside and it was like five or six folds. Like, nah. Nah. That's longer than 15 minutes for sure. We'll do hyperspace while we've got a fast pass and it's only valid for today. It's the date. Yeah. We got it. And then by the time we've done that and come out, we'll, st we'll check Buzz. This is getting wild now. Like, it must be us. We've just joined the queue for hyperspace. It's gone down again. So everyone's just walked back off the ride. That's just annoying. <laughs> we haven't done a single ride yet. Okay, let's try again. Premier access. Finally on the train. Come down to Indiana Jones. This used to be a hundred times better when it used to go backwards back in the day, but it's only a five minute wait. Now, Bench doesn't like this normally because it throws him around too much. Oh, my knees are locked in. Oh, they're only little carriages, aren't they? I swear they used to be double. They only send two down. That's weird. I wonder if that will make it feel faster because it's lighter. That was actually not too bad because we had the front row. A bit more leg room. I had a little bit more leg room, yeah. And the best advice is actually to like lean your head forward because it bashes you Embrace around. it. Yeah, just let your head like peacock out. <laughs> Is that right for me? Then? Sure. Like that. Good, it's good. Right. Better than I expected. I'll do it again. So would I for five minute wait. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't do any more than like 15 minutes. Right, we're in the reserved viewing area. It's pretty busy, I'm not gonna lie. We're just getting the little camera set up for you. Mm -hmm. We got moved on from the bin. Thought it might happen, but devastating. Thought I'd risk it for a biscuit. <laughs> so now we're here. So it looks beautiful though. Look at that. Yeah.
That is so impressive. That was so fun. That was really impressive. I really enjoyed that. I think it's going to go straight into the fireworks now, yeah. And just in case you're interested, this is what the premier area looks like. There is actually quite a lot of room around here, so it's not too crowded. And then this is what it looks like back here. There we go. All the way back there. And now... Disney Illuminations. Within each of us is a dreamer just waiting to be awakened. We all have the magic to unlock this inner child. But sometimes that inner child needs an invitation to come out and play. This is your invitation. In dreams you will lose your heart. With that nice big gap sauce. Yeah, considering we're up at 4 a.m. It's yeah, almost like we've got experience now. We're good, we're good at Disney. <laughs> we are very good at Disney. But also, we had that lovely sit down meal, which yeah. also we got to sort yeah, of yeah. just sit and enjoy. Soak some time up. Yeah. <laughs> I've never noticed that above the clock it still says Euro Disneyland Railroad. Yeah. How sweet is that? That's really cool. Night night from Mickey. Oh my gosh, the crowds! <laughs> and just like that, we're home. I actually think the lobby is even more beautiful at night, all lit up with all the sparkles. Looks lovely at night, doesn't it? You can really appreciate it now. Gorgeous. Right, a great day. That was a really good day. I really enjoyed that. I will say we did have some hiccups, but I hope you've enjoyed coming along. <laughs> yeah, but I just love spending time with you, you know? No, me too. It's, really nice. it's been nearly Even nice. Even if we had like no rides and just walked around and chatting for the day. Like, it would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's a really big highs though. That, Considering that, it was a long day. That meal was amazing. It was amazing. I really loved just being in the hotel today, that afternoon nap. We were, we, the fireworks finished like three and a half minutes ago, like when we're back, like, obviously a bit longer than that, but you know what I mean. That is... I loved that drone show, electrical. Yeah, it just adds a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it was nice. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. Thank you so much for watching our first of three vlogs. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss the other two. Tomorrow we'll be trying out the spa. We've got a reservation at Pim's Kitchen. We're going to go and see the new Alice show over in the studios. And we're going to try and catch that magical something show cool yeah 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 that but one. don't miss that don't miss out yeah that thing that we're gonna do um so we'll see you again in the next vlog thanks so much for watching bye Love you, <laughs>